Hi, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, create a gear to match a VEX gear. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new assembly. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to place a, um, so we're matching a VEX gear right now. So let's say that we want to create a new gear that's going to interlock with existing uh, VEX gears, uh, but we want to create our own kind of custom gear for that, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the IPT for the VEX, okay, and I've downloaded it, so we have our 36 tooth gear right here, okay, and we're going to go ahead and, and bring that in and place it in our assembly, okay. Now we're going to go ahead and click create, and we're going to create a blank right on the front of it, okay, so we're going to click, click that front place right there, so, or, or front face, and we now we've created our part on the front of that original gear. Now we're going to create a sketch, right, right directly on the front of it. And to do this just right, we're going to go project geometry, and we're going to select this middle part right here. See this, see this inner, like this uh, inside circle right there? And click OK. Or sorry, just click. Finish sketch. And now we're going to extrude that geometry that we just, uh, we just projected. So we're going to go 0.25 and green check. OK. And we're going to return, and now we're back in our assembly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to design, we're going to click spur gear, click OK, click save, click OK, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave center distance, okay, 20, 0, okay, all, all uh, default, okay, it should be 2, we're going to do a desired gear ratio of 2, okay, you could do a different one if you wanted. 24 for the pitch, center distance, it doesn't, you know, that's what it's calculating number of teeth you're not going to change either, okay, so because it's already set for 36. We're going to choose the cylindrical face, okay, so click the red circle next to the left-hand cylindrical face. When it highlights, click. Then we're going to click the plane, the start plane, and we're just click the back of it. So notice that it's already going to 0.25 inches. You can change that if you want it thicker, like if you wanted a one-inch thick gear. Looks something like that, right? Uh, we want, you know, just a quarter inch. Okay, and notice that when I look at it front on, it's already on the outside of the VEX gear, okay, and that's what we wanted. If we were going to increase the number of teeth or the pitch, um, so say we went down to like 10, right, okay, then 36 teeth would be way out here, right? That's not what we want. If we were at 10 and we went way in, we'd have 14 teeth, right? Okay, so we want to keep it at 24 and 36 to match uh, the VEX um, the VEX, um, and notice what I did was it didn't match there, so I click calculate, and that gets it, that actually makes it do the math and calculates it back out. Okay, so we want 24 and 36, right? All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to, and notice that we want 72 teeth. If we change the, uh, the gear ratio, our desired gear ratio, and click calculate, Notice that that gets us the, the gear that we're actually going to calculate here. So we're using this original 36 tooth gear to, you know, as our pattern, right? And then we're going to create a gear that has some different gear ratio, you know? So we're doing two to one, okay? Uh, we could also do 0.5, right? Okay, to calculate. And we get an 18 tooth gear, right? Okay. Uh, so, so it's just up to you. So basically, once you have this on here, you can do any gear ratio that you want, and the and the and the generated gear will will be that. Okay. So, so let's say we want a two two to one ratio. Click OK. Click Accept, and it goes ahead and it generates. So there we have our two gears, and notice that it's a little tiny bit off, but it's the same amount off all the way around. So it is it is identical. And then uh, basically, if we want to change this, let's say that, you know, we, let's say we save this, right? Because we all, you know, we want to make these other gears. We can right click on this, edit using Design Accelerator, and I can actually go back in and let's say we want a 0.5 uh, gear ratio, so like a one half gear ratio. We can click OK and accept, and that changes back to our 18 tooth gear, right? Okay, so this is a way that we can next basically take, you know, basically take this VEX gear. And now I can go ahead and delete it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, and there we have it. So we have our, our gear set that we can then go in and edit and make whichever uh, type of gear that we need. Okay, um, let's see. I always like to make this a different color here, so let's do that. Okay.
So there we have it. So there's, there is our gear set. Uh, best of luck.